As the commissary and the Army and Air Force Exchange Service prepare the gradual rollout of the Star Card at more than 200 commissary locations worldwide, authorized shoppers will be able to now cash in on the Star Card's rewards program, among other benefits, with their weekly grocery shopping. By allowing authorized patrons to use the Star Card at their local commissary, that's one more incentive for our service members and their families to pass up the competition and shop on post. It looks like it's going to be a good program, I, uh, especially for our soldiers. Absolutely, we think so too. Um, do you use the rewards and the other benefits from the Star Card when you shop at other places? I certainly do. The 10% off at the food court and whatnot, yes. <laughs> and they mail the coupons when you uh, accrue a certain amount of purchases. Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, being able to use the Star Card over here sort of gives you that flexibility. Um, helps you to do some things with the credit if you want to do that and still add some points. I, I think it'll give shoppers uh, some, some good options. Well, I'm very excited about this, you know, the opportunity to use your military star card at the commissary. Um, I think it's a, it's a benefit that uh, is long overdue. As the Defense Commissary Agency and AFI's leadership roll out this new initiative, they are expecting this to be a big hit for the more than 2.1 million star card holders. Uh, it is my distinct pleasure to be a part of forging this important partnership between the commissary and the exchange system. Why are we doing this? Our goal is to improve your shopping experience and to improve the overall benefit for our military community. Which will also be a big hit for the commissary benefit, our service members, and their families. This is Stephen Westerfield with another DECA update. Mm -hmm.